Welcome back to Introverts. I am slightly tilted and we are over here at our nice little machine that we've been working on. We got some big taters working and getting all done up and well I wanted to show you uh, how much I've gotten in just the last few minutes on this thing because in the last episode well I uh, built this thing showed you how it worked which is pretty fundamental and rudimentary for Minecraft. So been over here for a few minutes getting some baked potatoes done and let's see if this cart is actually finished we will we'll check I think most of us done but I have only been here for about 10 minutes and I will show you all oh nope it's not done we still got more I'll show you how much I've gotten so I had as you can tell several stacks of baked potato or potatoes itself and we have one two three four five six seven eight Stacks nine set eight eight eight. Okay, my brain hurts right now. My brain really, really hurts. I look. This is a face of mathematical in capabilities. Does that make sense? I can barely even put together two sentences let alone two words and when it comes to two plus two it equals eight yep it's eight I'm telling you two plus two is eight no I'm just kidding my brain just short circuits every once in a while I don't understand what it is it just short circuits anyways we were back at looking at this so let's recount this one two three four five six seven eight eight stacks of potatoes sheesh why was that so hard? I I don't know where this little mouse cursor is going, but it's going somewhere. It's like a fly. Look at it. It's buzzing around everywhere. Anyway, and then eight baked potatoes. But we should be pretty close to being done here, which is amazing. Yes, that hopper is empty. We can turn that noisy thing off. And we got 34 there. 42. 39. Do we have more? Yes, we have one more. Are you empty? Nope. We are still baking. <laughs> nine stacks now and then 62 so we have got a lot of baked potatoes these things are just kicking out so as you can see while well, the hoppers are now empty I'm hoping looks like they're pretty much done oh we have run out of fuel on that so let's go ahead and pop nope out of fuel on that why are there baked potatoes being processed up there that makes no sense we got jumbled up here oh never mind I know what I did I'm a I'm a buffoon I uh, ended up sticking a thing of baked potatoes in the, yeah, we need to, we are not seeing, look at that, like potatoes coming out of there. Anyways, we are, oh my gosh, how many did I do this to? We've got a malfunction here. We have done short-circuited everything, brain included. Can we get, no, not going to happen. Well, we've got, we've got an, oh my gosh. I seriously did. I put a full stack of baked potatoes in this silly thing. Yep, that's why it wasn't doing it. Anyways, we are out of fuel. Alright, well, let's go ahead and pop these other ones over here. We will save them for a later date. I had planned on putting them in here, but we're not going to be able to do it. We don't have enough fuel to finish them off. So let's turn this noisy thing off. We should be able to get it to park right about there so we can jump start it again and we're gonna go ahead and pop these 50, Oh, I did 59 potatoes left anyways we have 10 stacks plus 56 I would really like to get a couple more to make that more better let's just leave it there we'll come back for that later anyways it's getting nighttime we're gonna have to probably sleep but this is what we got for potatoes and then I, I went ahead and did some iron but the reason why I am doing the potatoes I'm, I'm, I'm getting to my point here soon, I hope. Probably not. Anyways, I am building up a... Um, well, I'm building a new store. The, well, the store is already there. I just got to stock it. So I want to stock it with baked potatoes. We're going to go ahead and stock it with that. I want to try and get some apples to put in there. We will, we will just put these in there and see what we get. And then we got some golden carrots. I figure I'll charge one diamond per stack. Last time I charged uh, two stacks for a diamond, which are just crazy cheap. 
And then we've got carrots, which somebody can get carrots, and if they want to go that route, they can. Hi. I have not named you yet, have I? I have not. I'm going to name you Butters. Oh, wait. You know what? You look like a scuttlebutt. You really do. I know I named Irony's cat Scuttlebutt, but you could be Scuttlebutt Jr. <laughs> Does that sound good? Oh, we are both on board. Do I even have any emeralds to buy a name tag? Probably not. I don't even have a name tag. We are getting distracted, people. Bear with me. Uh, anyways. No, we do not have any name tags, do we? Negative Ghost Rider. Okay, well, we will name, name him later. Uh, or do I have enough to buy anything? Can I, buy, can I even buy anything? No, I cannot. Oh, curses. Nope, yes, nope. No, negative. I can't buy anything. Anyways, we... What were we doing? We don't... Oh, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and go put this in our shop because we need to do that. I want to go ahead and get this started. I want to sell pumpkin pies eventually, and I'm going to have baked potatoes, carrots, golden carrots, and apples. I think that should be sufficient. And then maybe we will go salmon fishing and put some of that in. Alright, so this is the store that I made. And I made it a long time ago. It's just a quaint little store just tucked in here next to this thing, which is pretty spiff. Uh, Crackle Sand and Gravel Company. I believe this is KO's store. What is this sorcery? I cannot go in. KO has not fixed the issue with... The... Oh, I just wasted rockets. Curses. Oh well. I got a whole box. Anyways, this is my store. And what we have is golden, golden carrots, one diamond for two stacks. We are not selling that for that. Mm -mm. Sold out way too fast. So let's go ahead and get those out of there. Oop, oh, I'm going to have to uh, come back in there. And put those there. And need to put that one. So we're going to change that sign. We're going to go one diamond for... You know what? Let's see if we can get 32. 32. Because these things are such a pain in the ass to get. We're going to just go for it. Golden carrots. One diamond for 32. We should change that. One die. I know I could have just used the arrow key, but I didn't make your eye twitch. <laughs> One diamond for 32. Okay, so that's what we got. So let's go. This should give us a decent profit. Why did I put that there? And we're going to probably keep stack of these. Well, no, I can get another stack from, from there. Okay, so this should be good. So that should give us at least 18, 20 diamonds. That should be sufficient. You know, that should be real sufficient. So we've changed that. Golden carrots. Okay, now we need to do the carrots. Why won't you... Thank you. Okay, so let's put the carrots in there. And we're going to do these probably two stacks. This will be sufficient. Carrots work, they're just not super sufficient. All right, so that should give us plenty. Okay, okay. So we need to make us a sign. We need some of this. And we need to go with these. Should be sufficient. I have just filled my inventory with signs that I don't need. <laughs> Great, okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to call these uh, golden carrots. Golden carrots. One diamond. Four. Thirty-two. Perfect. That should work. Done. Oh, we should uh, put arrows. Go with uh, this one here. Perfect. Can't hardly see it. Oh, do, do, do. do what we get. No, nope, better not do that just yet. Uh, I don't know what to do. Let's just do this. Waste some of this. Fine. It'll be all right. We'll we'll get through this eventually. Okay. So there. Now you can see it. 
All right, and then we got carrots, right? Okay, so we do carrots. We got carrots. Uh, two stacks or one diamond. Does that sound good? Hopefully. If it's not, put it in the comments box that I am way too overpriced. And then let's do the uh, potatoes up here. Did I put them here? Yes, I did. And I have no room. Let's put all this junk in there and I'll dig it out here in a minute. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Uh, we'll just make these baked potatoes the same. I don't have enough to keep. We'll just keep those ones with us. And then, what do you think? I'm thinking the same as carrots. Two stacks. Should be fine. Um, ch -ch -ch. Baked potatoes. We'll just put taters. Make taters. Sounds more, more redneck, more hick. Sounds good to me. I grew up in the South, so I'm about as redneck and hick as you can get. <laughs> you believe that? It's true. I'm telling you, it's it's the truth. <laughs> baked taters. Anyways, I'm so sidetracked. Uh, baked taters. And I said backed. Look at that. Backed taters. <laughs> you ever heard of backed taters? <laughs> I sure as hell haven't. All right, so we have instead of backed taters. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me sooner? Uh, I don't know how to spell baked. Apparently, there. Nope, that's still wrong. What am I doing? Um, I don't know what what. Where's it? There. Oh my gosh, how did I? Something went completely wrong there. Backed taters. We got backed taters. Backed by what? I don't know. <laughs> um. Backed by, uh, hmm, I, I got nothing. Failed. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Two? Two stacks? Yeah, that would be fine. They're not too difficult to make. They do use a lot of fuel, though. We'll do one stack for one diamond. All right, we have a little bit stocked in our second shop. We're going to call this uh, something. I don't know what to call it. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Any ideas? I know, you're drawing a blank too. I can tell. And we're going to go with... Uh, hmm. I'll think of something. I'll come back to it. We'll think of something. This sort of be just fine. All right. Perfect. All right, I told you we'd come back to that sign. I have figured out what we're going to name that. We're going to name it after the farmer that is over there in our little area. We are going to name it after Rufus T. So this is going to be Rufus T. Cornholes. That'll be perfect. I love it. Our new shop name, Rufus T. Cornholes. We don't have any corn on this, but hey, whatever. So we're going to name the shop Rufus T. Cornhole. And, uh, perfect. Uh, what should we name? Rufus T. Cornholes services <laughs> oh my gosh that's terrible uh, <laughs> I know some of you are probably thinking it too uh, anyways trying to keep it PG but I'm I'm not apparently uh, <laughs> uh, uh, hmm what are we gonna go with Rufus T cornholes uh, let's just put uh, that for now we could put uh, produce <laughs> uh, we could put produce. Produce and goods. We could just put it on the sign up there. Probably. Let's do it. Uh, let's just put the produce up here. Carrots. Backed potatoes. <laughs> you know, all the good stuff. Make taters. There we go. We gotta label it correctly. And then we've got what else? Have we got uh, bone meal. And then golden golden carrots. The money maker. Hopefully, I can't do that sign. Darn it. Um, golden carrots. 
Perfect. All right, that should do it. Yep, it doesn't stand out very well, but that's okay. Anyways, we got the store started. Let's go check out the new shop. It is somewhere over... Oh, I missed it. These roads are terrible. We need a mayor or something. Mayor would be really, really nice. I vote for Mayor Toby. Toby put this in recently, so this is the new Prismarine shop. Boosh. Ow. I completely missed the water. What do we got here? What do we got? Sea lanterns. Ooh, I'll take some of those. How much for what? Zoom in on that. One diamond per stack. Oh, that's a good deal. Let's go ahead and spend a diamond. And then all the profits that I made are going to go. Dark Prismarine. Mm, I don't need that. And then, ooh, I, I do kind of want the Prismarine. What is that for stack? One diamond per stack. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yeah, there you go. All right, and we got one diamond left. Unless there's something good over here. Prismarine. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy it. I don't know what I'll do with it, but we'll figure it out. And... We'll just swim out of here. We can't fly out of here. There's a roof on it. Ouch. Perfect. All right, let's head back to Tiltlandia because we need to get some work done. I don't really think that uh, we've done too much work lately, but that's okay. We will get back over there and do some work because it'll be amazing. We've got lots to do. We are going to start tearing down and getting everything ready for the... Darn it, why is my mouse tweaking out right now? Anyways, we're going to head over there to Tiltlandia to get onto the Wizard's Tower because we're going to start clearing out the area and then we're going to probably work on some pathways to get the area all done where we need to. I will show you when we get over there, so I will see you over there in a minute. You're waiting on me already? Oh my gosh, why would you be waiting on me? I am like the fastest person on here and that's no joke, seriously. Anyways, we are over here at Tiltlandia, as if you didn't already know that. And we have not been working on... Whoa, there is a whole lot of world missing. Ow! <laughs> Probably should watch where I'm going. <laughs> Anyways, we are being over here working on Tiltlandia over the past few episodes. And the last few episodes, we got this beautiful little area put in right over here. Looking amazing. And we put this beautiful, beautiful custom tree in looking amazing cleared out some of this other area got some of this started and taken care of Ooh, a sapling still here uh, but what we need to do is since we have done all this nice fancy work here and we've just been working our way up from the bottom we need to as i said in the last episode we need to work on all of this right here because there is a bridge right over there that is not finished so we need to get started on this and also we are going to put a wizard's tower in here over the series and well we need to start working on that oh my gosh there's so much to do so without further ado and without wasting any more time babbling because it's already probably 30 minutes worth of babbling we are going to go ahead and we are going to work on this down here because we need some bridges so let's start by crashing, apparently. No, let's start by going back over here and starting from this general location. So let's hit that super fast, tilted build.
Welcome back, where we just got done going full tilted mode, and ooh, we got a lot done. Check out this mountaintop. It is looking amazing. We got so much done on this thing, and I am so excited. Look at how that is looking. It is looking, not the back of my head, pardon me. <laughs> Wrong button, as always. <laughs> Look at this mountain, though. Ooh, look at how much carving we've done. Ooh, isn't it splendid? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it grand? We've carved out a whole bunch and took care and got rid of this ugly little atrocity that was poking out there. A little cancerous looking growth on the side of the mountain face there. And ooh, I think it's looking amazing. It's looking good. If you caught the live stream on Twitch just uh, the other day, uh, you'll know, saw, you would have saw that I had uh, been over there working on that. I didn't really make much sense there, but pardon me. <laughs> Anyways, we did a lot there. We carved all of that out. We carved some of this and did a little adjustment on the mountainside there and just made it look that much better. So now it has a good flow all the way down and into the little area there. And not only did we do that, we also worked on the pathway, which is looking amazing i love it we cleared off all of this over here we adjusted it got it ready to uh add for the next little areas we added a little detail here with some vanilla uh cherry blossom trees and i think they'll look good once i shape them we'll do that in the next episode we'll shape this area up and make it nice but i want to add like a little a little either a campfire area here or a little building here of some sort something just kind of dangling out here on this little area which i think is going to look amazing as you can see it kind of hangs down a little bit we're going to reshape all of this and make it look a little nicer we might actually take and bring it all the way down to this area here and tie it into the water where this little peak is and just add a little bit more detail to that but overall look at the details they are looking amazing we got a little rock outcropping here a little more details and some water flowing down to the bottom down there from this little area and the pink petals are just raining down they look amazing and not only did we do that we also got more of this pathway done mine the chest monster here it's my little workstation for the next little bit and uh, we got a little pathway coming over here coming over to the wizards area and we detailed just a little bit of this area right here we got another water feature coming down from the side here and such but we got to add a little bit more detail when we get started on the wizards uh, tower and that's where this is going to be a nice beautiful little wizard's tower well not really little it's going to be ginormous <laughs> but that's okay and then coming down through here we've continued the pathway we've added a few little missing bricks and a few little elements which are looking amazing coming on down we added just a little different stuff here and then kind of blocked it all off and made it look a little better for the canyon down here which is looking really good. We're going to add a few more details and some plant life in here and then do a little more carving on this in the next episode. As you can see, we got a hole in the wall right there. <laughs> but we did a nice little area here, which I think looks amazing. The pathway comes down onto this little rock outcropping. And we did a little shaping on this, but yet we still have more to do on that. But, ooh, it's looking amazing. Look at me looking down at something. What are you looking at? <laughs> just kidding we're looking at the details down below Ooh, it's looking amazing and not only did we do that we added this little bridge here which is looking good we'll zoom back out and show you a little bit of that which is looking nice I like it. it's just subtle little details nothing over the top and it looks amazing I am oh so happy and then we did the little carve uh, out little spot here just to make it look like you're just coming into a little cavernous little area and we'll detail a little bit of that in the next episode but my favorite part is right here and we added a tree in here that just adds so much character to it we've got a tree that's just poking out of the cliff here with the big branch just going up and then branching out everywhere and the best part that I like the most is right over here I will show you this bridge is actually being held up by the tree let's go ahead and zoom in on this so you can see it a little bit better but this tree is actually got a branch working its way up through here it curves out of the main branch big part of the tree and then curves up and actually is holding up the platform or the walkway right here so I think that is a nice little element the walkway is just 
perched precariously on the tree limb and the tree limb there is just helping hold that all together and making it look amazing. Look at that. It's looking so good. I like it. I am happy with this. I think overall it is looking amazing and oh, so perfect. So perfect. I think the overall the details are just top notch. If you think so, put that in the uh, comments box. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because it would be amazing. I would love it. Let's go ahead and take a quick dash through here and look. Ooh, we got the tree up there we did in the last episode. And we also have this one right here that I cannot fly through. Thought I could. Was trying to do it, <laughs> but that's okay. But overall, this has taken so much nice form and shape. I love this. It's so immersive. You come through here, you got just a little glimpse of what's to come over there. And then looking off this way, you have a little glimpse of what, what you have there. You got the little cherry blossom up there. You got the other bridge. Just, just can see it. Oh, it's so immersive. And we also did this little detail right here. This is a nice little spot. We're going to actually add a few more things to it and make it a little nicer once we get done. But overall, I think that I like kind of the way we got got it going right now and little details of what we'll add is like little pots and stuff like here that throughout here just to make it a little nicer but we are done with the pathway it goes all the way down look at this it is amazing I am so happy let's quickly uh, make a nice little trip down to the bottom and I'll show you how amazing it is and how immersive so let's go ahead and take us a quick stroll through here and you come out of the portal and ooh, look at this. This is looking nice and fancy. Just walking through this little forest out into Tiltlandia. And, well, it's going to be even more majestic once we carve that rock out. But coming down the pathway, ooh, look at the pond over here. The little details, the coral in there. Ooh, fancy. What else is in here? And we keep coming on this way along the bridge and just looking at how Tiltlandia just pops. We get to see the beautiful heart as we walk on by here and just keep making our way up through here. Oh, look at the details. Just so immersive. You can come out and look at little areas like this. You can come up here and look from the bridge area up into the... Oh, hi, Pig. Pig's still up there. Oh my gosh, Pig's been there for a long time. I should really get picked down poor poor thing but as we walk up through here you can see all the details going in and being done the rock carving that's taking place and oh it's just looking so much more amazing as i said we are going to detail all of this and get this looking nice in the next episode we are running out of time in this one but oh look at that and then you come out here and look over here in this general area looking amazing we'll have a ship or something coming out from there we wind our way up through here and looking at all the little cavernous areas, the different little bits and bobs and details. Oh, it's looking amazing. Now, you can fly up through here, obviously. I've been doing it for, you know, quite some time, but I like this immersive uh, walk up through here. We've got the, we got the bridge going across there between the two towers, the pink cherry blossom tree there, and just all the little details being put in up through here. And we also have to finish this up here. We've got a giant hole up there that really needs to be fixed and get that structure there going across and tying all this in, which will look amazing. But, ooh, look at this. The details. It's all in the details. We even got little details like this where there's just iron, this gold ore just poking through the walls. Oh, speaking of ore, we also have another little spot of ore. I don't know if you saw it, but when you come up through here and you come through... Boom, right there. Look at that coal right there. Just a nice vein of coal just to add to the overall detail because this is a, you know, nice little area that's just rich in all the ore and minerals and material needed for that, for the elves. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that bridge going across there. Woo, fancy. Getting all fancy up in here. And then we come out and you can look over there and you'll be able to see the mountains that KO Dragon is adding going to be amazing as we progress up here there's even more details all these little spots where you can come out and just look out over the landscape take a moment and just enjoy and ponder your decisions
more more open space up here and then we come into this area and it brings us all the way up into the main hall area and it takes us all the way up to the rest of the area where the main meeting area will take place you know to figure out what you're going to what you're going to do with the enemy and oh look at that just lovely and one last little spot brings you all the way up here in this immersive little area to the main storage hall yep i think it's looking great i think it's looking amazing Ooh, we should do shaders real quick let's do some shaders check this out Ooh, look at these shaders ah so beautiful look at the, how amazing this is looking oh ooh, look at that just looking amazing let's take a moment zoom out and look at this in all of its glory with the shaders Ooh, and then on oh, and then, oh look at how amazing that looks Ooh, look at that fancy Fancy, fancy, fancy. Ooh, that's like picture worthy right there. Oh, and as we come through here looking at this majestic area. Oh, and it's just looking so wonderful. Wow. Alright, well, that'll do it for today. I'm Slightly Tilted. I will see all of you in the next episode. Bye.